Prince William is now sending threats to Archie and Lilibet Dana. How low can you go as a human being? William, how can you send threats to Archie and Lilibet Dana? My family, William is using his friends to send threats to Archie and Lilibet Dana. The children of Harry and Meghan. My family, here's what Prince William is saying through friends based on what Marker.com is reporting. Kindly please hear this. A friend of Prince William mentioned if William would have a say on whether Prince Harry should attend the coronation or not. And the friend of William said that he would prefer to keep his brother away. That if it was William's coronation, Harry would not even make the list. In addition to that, the so-called friend mentioned that Meghan Markle, William's niece, Lilibet, and nephew, Archie, would also not be welcome either. My family, it's so bad how William keeps on exposing himself to the entire world. You know, his hate towards not just Harry or Meghan, but also for Archie and Lily Dana. It's sad, really. It's sad. But you know what? Let him keep exposing himself. Let the world know the true Prince William. And thanks to Harry's memoir, we now know the world now knows exactly the type of character William possesses. One of jealousy, one of hate, a bully, an abuser. The world knows that fully well. And now he's saying that, hey, look, even Megan, Archie, Lilibet would not be welcome either to the coronation. My family, make no mistake, these are threats. These are threats. My family, this is very, very dangerous rhetoric that they are using against Megan, Harry, and even the children, Archie and Lily Badana. My family, we have seen what's happened with the titles, really. For Archie and Lilibet. As of now, they should be called prince and princess. They should be recognized as prince and princess. But the royal family, but King Charles really, refuses to recognize the mixed race children of Harry and Meghan, Archie and Lilibet Dana. By referring to them as with their rightful titles of prince and princess, Charles says that Archie and Lilibet should earn their titles. Yet members of the royal family don't earn their titles. They inherit them. They inherit them. But clearly, there is one rule for the white members of the royal family and another rule for the mixed race children of color of Harry and Meghan Markle. It's sad how they keep on showing how much they loathe Harry's wife and children. It's sad and very much racist. My family... I just recall how Harry describes 
William's kids. How Harry expresses concerns about William's kids, the spares in the royal family, that someday what he has gone through, they will also be put through. They will also be subjected to. Harry expresses concerns out of love for his niece and nephews. William's children. Prince Harry, you have him saying that, guess what? When I move next to William, close to William, guess what? You know, I'm thinking that William will invite me in, you know, so I can play with George, my nephew, and everything will be great, really. But that never happened. An invite never came never came for Harry. What he had wished for, what he had dreamt about, never came. That's how Harry speaks about his brother's kids. But here is how William speaks about Harry's children. Based on what his friend is saying, that if it were up to Prince William, fully up to him, even a little bit, a nephew Archie would not be welcome either. My family, it just shows how much the royal family, the royals, have clearly rejected Harry's mixed race wife and also mixed race children. And this shows. Their rhetoric shows, and my family speaking about William's friends. Prince Harry spoke about these so called friends. My family, when, let me mention one instance, when discussing William demanding that he shaves his beard before his wedding, my family. Here's what was said about William's friends. And I quote, Now Harry feared William would recruit his friends to hold Harry down and shave his face during his bachelor party, especially if he got too drunk. William even admitted this was his plan. So William, with his band of friends, more like thugs in my opinion, William, with his band of friends, wanted to tie up Prince Harry while Harry is at his bachelor party and forcefully shave his face, remove Harry's beard. You know? My family, that tells you of the people that surround or are around Prince William. They say that birds of the same feather flock together. People in William's circles, his friends, clearly hold the same kind of contempt and hate. Not just towards Harry, but also towards Harry's wife and children. My family, in my opinion, Harry's hope of reconciling with not just William, but also Charles, it just won't work out. It, it just won't work out. The jealousy and hatred that they have within them, inside of them, is just too toxic. They can't control it and neither can they hide it. They can't control themselves and they can't hide their hate and contempt towards Harry's family and they're showing it by actions. By not acknowledging Archie and Lilibet as, as prince and princess. By my family, William's friends saying that 
if it were up to William. Even Archie or Lilbert would not be invited to the coronation. My family, that's hate on a whole different level. It's uncontrollable hate and jealousy towards Prince Harry and his wife and children. It's too much. It's too much. My family, as the saying goes, if you are not careful, the media will have you hating those who are oppressed and loving the ones doing the oppressing. Because that's what William is doing right now. He's abusing, oppressing, trying to cause harm to Harry's family, his wife, his children. That is what William has been trying to do for quite a long, long time. And now he's being open about it through his friends. He is being open about it through his friends. Harry, in the Harry and Meghan documentary, say these words, I'll never forget. Hate was being stirred up against my wife and son. He did not only mention Meghan Markle. He said his son. Lilibet, Harry's daughter, was bullied over a name chosen for her. Chosen for her by her loving parents, Harry and Meghan, who wanted to name her after Queen Elizabeth II. And they did. Out of Harry's love and respect for his grandmother, who recently passed away. And Lilibet was bullied over a name. Because sources are the parties that Harry did not ask permission to name his daughter Lilibet. Yet other white children in their own family are named Elizabeth. But it suddenly became a problem when a mixed race child of Harry and Meghan was named, was given a nickname of. Queen Elizabeth II, Lilibet. My family, there is so much racism within the royal family that is just so visible for every single person to see. It's right there in plain sight for everyone to see. And indeed, the royal family are very much a racist family. My family on Charles also. King Charles was asked by someone during a royal walkabout to bring Harry back. That's what he was asked. And I want you to hear Charles's response. And that's why I'm saying that there is no hope for Harry reconciling with either Charles or William. That jealousy is is just too much. How do you think a proud person like Charles feels when during a rock about someone asks him about Harry and not himself because Charles cares about himself? Charles, remember, from what we've been told by, Di by Diana, is a very, very proud person. And it's clear that's who is. And very, very jealous of anyone who claims the spotlight. My family, kindly just please hear what happened to Charles during a rock about being asked about Harry. Kindly just hear this, please. <laughs> Harry, please, sir. Thank you, please. Can you bring him back, sir? Harry, your son. Aren't you, sir? My family, hear this again. Bring back Harry, please, sir. Thank you, please. Can you bring him back, sir? Harry, your son. Oh, 
Harry, your son. Bring back Harry. Who? Who? Charles responds when being asked about his own son. Who? 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 The guy can't even acknowledge his own son. Someone has to remind him, Harry, your son. Harry, your son. How many Harrys does Charles truly know? How many of them? The guy can't acknowledge his own son. Refers to him as who? 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 Charles is a very proud and jealous person. And that is very, very much clear. And my family, on this matter, someone called V said that the way he said who is putting me in shambles. Who forgets they have children? Who forgets that they have kids? Well, Charles does forget that he does have a son clearly. He forgets that he has a son. And that's why I'm saying, Harry, I'm really, really sorry because I know that you want to reconcile with them, with these people. I know that. And I get you. I understand. Harry sees the good in people. He tries to see the good moments in people that they spend their time together. But my family, these people that Harry is hoping to reconcile with are not good people. They aren't. They treat not just Harry poorly, but also Harry's wife, his children, Archie and Lilibet Diana. You know, my family... A couple of, for a couple of times, really, a number of times, really, sorry, I have seen UK media trying to demean Harry and Meghan by saying that, you know, they're more like the Kardashians right now than they are royals. Like, they say it in a demeaning way, the Kardashians, more than they are royal. My family... Allow me to tell you a brief story about the Kardashians. Just a brief story about the Kardashians, really. My family, the Kardashians have a problem with Rob, the mother of Rob Kardashians, their brother, Robert Kardashian, Rob Kardashians, you know, daughter. They have a problem with the mother. Her name is Black China. And my family, Black China whose legal name is Angela White, had claimed that the Keeping Up with the Kardashian Stars destroyed her TV career after she broke up with Rob Kardashian, the only son of Kris Jenner and the late Robert Kardashian Sr., and sued them for defamation, saying that she wanted $100 million from the Kardashian family for defaming her and saying that they improperly interfered with her contacts, with her contracts and business dealings and sued them for $100 million. Look, she lost the case. However, that's not the point, really. The point is, despite the mother suing the Kardashian family for a hundred million dollars. Never, never have they had any problem with the daughter of Black China and Rob Kardashian called Dream. Never have they had a problem with the child. The child gets invited to parties that Kardashians are hosting to play with her cousins. 
They love her. They have no problem whatsoever with the child. Now that's a family who are loyal to each other. They have disagreements, yes, as a family. But whenever one member is having a problem, problem they rally together as a family and help each other out. The Kardashian family. And I love that. I love that. But the royal family are not a family. You know, when you mock Harry and Meghan by referring them, when you try really, when you try to mock them by referring to Harry and Meghan as, you know, the new Kardashians, you are not mocking them. You aren't. You aren't really. Because Kardashians are a true family worthy of being called a family. They don't betray each other. They don't leak and plant stories against each other in a way that would harm them, would harm their family. That's not what they do. They love each other. When they have a problem, they run together and help each other. That's a true family. The rose, on the other hand, they leak, plant stories against each other to get good press. That's what they do. While harming members of their own family, causing them so much pain that they even think about taking their own life. A husband goes home to see his wife crying, wanting to take her own life because the bullying and abuse coming from Harry's extended family, from William, from Charles, who clearly have abused. Meghan Markle, time and time again. William has done it. Charles has done it. And so my family, the royals are a dysfunctional family and worthy of being called a family. The Kardashians are an actual family. You are actually complimenting Harry and Meghan by referring to them as the new Kardashians. Kardashians are billionaires. They earn their money. They work hard. They have to give them. They do work hard. They do work hard for their money. They do work extremely hard. They have different businesses. They are billionaires. They did not inherit their money. They worked for it. And I respect that, really. I respect that so much. At least for Kylie Jenner, Kendall Jenner, the sisters, you know, Chloe and Courtney, they work for their money and they keep on working. Yes, they have dramas and scandals here and there, but one thing is for sure, they love each other as a family. That you can never ever doubt. But the royals, on the other hand, You've seen what, apparently, William, through his friends, is saying. That even Archie and Lipetana would never be invited to the coronation. Never. My family, the royals, are unworthy of being called a family. They are unworthy. Unworthy, unworthy, unworthy of being called a family. And St. Charles has to be reminded, you know, Harry, his son. Harry, I'm sorry that your own father, that Charles can't even remember that you are his son. It's just so, so, so bad. But I'm just hoping that Prince Harry can one day come to terms with the fact that the people he wishes to reconcile with are not people who are willing to reconcile with him. What they want to do is to destroy Prince Harry. Not just Harry, his wife and even his children. My family. Now someone said that, is Harry a child? 
Is Charles going to kidnap Harry back to the UK? Such an annoying thing to say. In case it hasn't dawned on them, dawned on them. Harry is with his family and have so moved on from the shackles and abuse he was put through when he was living in the UK. You know, I can get why someone is upset about this line of questioning. Asking Charles to bring Harry back. I get it really because Harry has a family. He has a wife. He has children. I mostly focused on Charles' response to being asked about Harry. Who? Who? That was what I mainly had a problem with. But also really, when speaking of Harry, it is very disrespectful to say, bring back Harry. What about his wife? What about his son? What about his daughter? You know? Because he does have a wife and kids. He has a wife and children. What about his family? It's important to always remember that Harry has a wife and kids. Because some people always disregard Harry's family, Harry's wife and children. Tell me to get from their whole family to the tabloid media and some individuals also. Harry has a wife and children. And he'll always put them first. He has always put them first. And made their safety, happiness, our priority. And he has shown the lengths he'll go to to keep his wife and children safe. And I applaud Prince Harry 100. First cent. Now someone said if Charles, William and their wives were a good team, good working royals, People would not beg for Harry. Now that Harry, Meghan, and Elizabeth are not there, it's empty. Someone said something very true and exactly as I've said. Said this, that you know King Charles III's ego, 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 King Charles III's ego is that only he exists. Very, very much true. Very, very much true. He did not like hearing a member of the crowd saying Harry to him because of jealousy. No wonder I'm saying this is not a family. This is trying to Make it look like a, like a dig that you're insulting Harry by saying that, you know, they're acting like the Kardashians. It isn't mocking or insulting Harry because Kardashians are an actual family. The royals, on the other hand, are a dysfunctional family and worthy of being called a family. Someone said that Charles is acting like he did not hear him say Harry. Someone said that. You know, my family. Someone said that Charles is not a good human being. To which someone called Ash said that now his son William is the one that is constantly in candles and with rage. He is the worst human being. Charlie Boy, on the other hand, is 100% a very close second someone said that my family someone said this that this is weird bring back Harry like he's a hostage the media reflects the public don't let them tell you different why are y'all giddy over this? Like, what is the kiki? It not like he's asking for Harry's family back, just Harry, as if he needs to negotiate terms with some terrorist group to set Harry free. 
it reiterates the palace's narrative. What is the gotcha moment? Someone said, damn my family. Yes, I do accept and agree that, you know, not mentioning Harry's wife and kids is very much respectful. 100% really, my family. But also, it's also sad to have to watch Charles practically not remembering that he actually has a son called Harry. It's it's so so bad, really. Very, very much bad. My family. Someone said that the British have a deeply voyeuristic relationship with their own family. And the Harry they want is the troubled clown caricature the tablets created and the roles promoted. They have no interest in knowing who he is now. As a successful, responsible father and husband, Harry is happy, living his best life. Someone said that, my family. Someone said that. You know, my family... It's sad really what Charles did and how he constantly ignores Prince Harry. This guy does not answer his own son's phone call. At his son's time of deepest need, Charles did not take Harry's phone call. Sadly, that's Harry's extended family. Those are Harry's extended family members who continue to abuse him and treat him so, so badly and poorly. And even in public, they can't hide their contempt. Harry, well, you know, Charles was asked about Harry and he responded, who? Who? It tells you of Charles' jealousy. It tells you of Charles' jealousy. Imagine being jealous about your own children. A father should be happy and pleased when they see their children succeed and thrive. But sadly, in the farm, that just doesn't happen. That's not how things are done in the farm. They can't stand seeing someone leave and then end up being successful outside of the institution. That's pretty much clear. That's pretty much clear, my family. Now, I want to hear opinion on this, please. Harry fled the UK, first of all, to escape a torrent of wrist abuse and hounding of his wife, Meghan Markle, and also abuse towards his son, Archie. My family, as I end this video right now. William, your hatred towards Harry, Meghan, Archie and Lipidana, we've seen it. The world has seen it. And I want you to know that no matter what you do, you won't be able to destroy Harry and Meghan and their family. You won't succeed in destroying Harry and Meghan. You won't succeed in destroying Lilibet and Archie's future. My family, these people who have been hounding Harry and Meghan, who have been bullying and abusing them, have been hoping that somehow they'll be able to destroy this marriage between Harry and Meghan. And guess who gets hurt when that happens? The kids. Archie and Lil Pedana are the first ones to get hurt. And that's why I'm saying that no matter what they do, what William or Charles does, they won't be able to, su to successfully destroy Harry and Meghan's mar marriage because that's what they want, to break this interracial marriage between Harry and Meghan. They won't succeed. 
They've been trying it for years and they've failed. Harry will always choose his wife and kids. And he has shown that by actions. And may God bless Harry's heart. My family, now I'd like to hear your opinion on this, please. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and Lil Bedana, and Dora Lagland, and all of you members of the squad at home. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hate will never win. Only love wins. Harry and Megan's love has triumphed over Charles' neglect and hatred for Harry's mixed race family. And also, Harry and Meghan's love has triumphed over William's hatred of Harry's wife and clearly Harry's children as well. And the love shall continue thriving. William and Charles' hate will never ever win or triumph over Harry and Meghan's love. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.